Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. Thank you very much, Chuck, and uh, thank you all for coming tonight. Um, I'm a member of the council myself, so as a member of the council, I'm delighted you're all, you're all here. Uh, what we wanted to do today is to uh, talk about some of the work we've been doing looking at, at Africa. The McKinsey Global Institute is, uh, is McKinsey's uh, economics research uh, arm, if you like, looking at global business and macroeconomic issues. And uh, I think uh, it'd be fair to say when most people think about Africa, outside of Africa, uh, a few things typically come to mind. We all think about the problems, uh, poverty, disease, famines, wars, all of which is true, uh, and, is, and those are real challenges. Uh, alternatively, sometimes we think about Africa from the point of view of a tourist destination, safaris and the delights and food, and all of that is also true. Uh, but I think it's very rare that you have real discussions about the economic performance and potential of Africa. There, there are several things that uh, at least surprised us and I think have surprised others too. Uh, if you look at Africa's GDP, it's about 1.6 trillion today. And that's actually equal that of Brazil and of Russia. So this is real significant uh, economic performance that is quite real today. Uh, the combined consumer spending in Africa was about 860 billion. This is actually higher than consumer spending in India today. So it's very significant. If you look at various, uh, the penetration of technologies and other things, for example, Africa has actually added over 300 million new mobile phone subscribers since 2000. Uh, and actually has more phones than you have here in the United States. Uh, so between about 2000, uh, the GDP growth rate of Africa collectively rose by close to 5% uh, through to about the end of 2008, which is actually twice the pace of growth that we had seen in the 80s or even the 90s, which actually made Africa the, the third fastest growing economic region in the world. Uh, and it, I think it's also important to, to recognize that uh, uh, it's been more than just a resource boom that has driven this. Because quite often the presumption is, well, it's oil and it's resources, and that's the, 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 the key driver that has uh, driven the growth that we've seen. And you can see that when you look at the makeup of this growth. Uh, yes, of course, oil and other natural resources make up about a quarter of the, uh, quarter of the, of the growth and GDP growth we've seen in the last decade, uh, and, 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 but, but that's not all. Uh, you see growth from you know, wholesale and retail, you see growth from agriculture, you see growth from uh, transport and telecommunications, but it's, it's by no means a, a resource, oil or natural resource driven growth boom that we've seen.